Well, good morning. Trustees last night at an emergency board meeting voted unanimously to call for this investigation. There were some noticeable absences at last night's meeting, including the mayor and two of her allies. We are here to save Dalton. During a boisterous emergency meeting, Dalton Board of Trustee members made several allegations of misappropriation of taxpayer money and political corruption conducted by Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who was a no-show at the meeting. A grown-up would just resign and leave, but we know she's not going to do that. So definitely we're going to go to this the next step further. That next step was demanding all village financial records be made public by March 7th and calling on investigators at all levels of government to look into the mayor and her administration. There are many things that have not surfaced and the public doesn't know yet. And if you think you're in shock now, just hold on. Trustees say they have evidence to back up allegations of misusing village funds, its credit cards, issuing checks without needed signatures, and hiring employees and vendors without going to the board for their advice and consent. But that's not all. Has used police personnel for her own personal security detail, which has cost hundreds of thousands of dollars of overtime, well, millions, within the police department. The mayor has been the subject of WGN Investigate Stories, which looked into her charity, use of taxpayer money as Thornton Township supervisor, as well as a lavish trip to Las Vegas. She had a hard time answering straightforward questions from WGN's Ben Bradley about first class tickets and pricey dinners. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? The state attorney general's office is already looking into her charity, and we've learned federal investigators are also asking questions. In a statement, the village administrator levied his own allegations of misusing funds by some trustees and called last night a circus with a few trustees in the village spreading lies. Either way, the people's choice for mayor is going to have to answer to the people at some point. Someone has to come and save us. This woman is going to bankrupt our town. Now, one trustee tells us that the mayor is at least partially to blame for the village being $7 million in debt. We did try and find the mayor here this morning. We went by an address that we had for her. No one was home. We also tried a few numbers we had for the mayor, but were unsuccessful in getting a comment. We're live in Dalton. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.